Hello and welcome students. I am Dr. Smita Srivastava. I am a faculty in the Department of Biotechnology at IIT Madras. So, as you know, the course is called as Bioreactor Design and Analysis, and I will be the course instructor for this course. This is just a glimpse of the course where I just wanted to introduce myself and tell you what is the course going to be. Now, basically, this course comes under the discipline of biotechnology and as you know biotechnology is a interdisciplinary course where students from various disciplines like chemical engineering or electrical engineering, biomedical engineering can be interested in taking up this course. This course is going to be of 8 weeks duration. Now, when I joined in IIT Madras in 2010, I started teaching this course and it has been now more than 5 times in the last 5 years that I have taken this course. At IIT Madras, this is a core course for the students of MTech in Bioprocess Engineering, while it is an elective course for the students of BEME and BSMS branch and also students from other degree courses like masters, MS by research and PhD also register for this course. Now, what background academic background is required in order to take this course or will be useful in taking up this course includes basic biotechnology or BE, BTech, MTech in bioprocess engineering and even students from chemical engineering BTech and MTech can also be interested in taking up this course. So, in general the course can be a part of a UG, PG or a PhD depending on the interest of the student. This course is also highly useful for the gate entrance exams. Now, what other courses can be taken after doing this basic course, especially in the area of bioprocess engineering or biochemical engineering, where we use chemical engineering principles to optimize and scale up these bioprocesses to make them, but also not only technologically, but also commercially feasible. Attending this course makes it easier to attend other courses in future like fermentation technology, microbial technology, plant cell bioprocessing or plant cell technology, animal cell technology, downstream processing, bioprocess modeling and simulation and also bioprocess control. So, basically all these courses, they are courses which generally are taken up in specialized area of bioprocess engineering and bio chemical engineering. So, one can find it easier if one has already attended bioreactor design and analysis course. What prerequisites will be required for this course includes basic knowledge in mathematics. It is nice if you have already attended materials and energy balance course, a course in bio biological rate processes or enzyme kinetics. The course can have applications even in industry, especially the fermentation industry and biotechnology based industries. Companies which deal with the production of compounds via microbial plant or animal cell fermentations, there the course can be highly useful. So, as from the course name bioreactor design and analysis, we will be talking more about the bioreactors in this course. So, just to introduce you to the term bioreactor, bioreactor it is a device in which a raw material which we call as substrate of low value can be utilized by the living cells or their components which we call as biocatalyst enzymes to generate products of high commercial value. These living cells can be of microbial origin 
of plant origin or even animal cells. So, various kinds of bioreactions takes place which will convert this substrate to product in this vessel which we call as bioreactor. Reactions like bioconversion, biotransformation or even we can achieve products by recombinant technology, genetic engineering. The topics which will be covered in this course will include design of batch bioreactors, design of fed batch bioreactors, then we will go ahead and look at how to design and optimize continuous bioreactors. We will be also characterizing key operations in these bioreactors in terms of mass transfer and heat transfer. Later, we will go on to study the scale up of these bioprocesses, how do we scale up in bioreactors and in the end, we will also deal with the non-ideality in bioreactors. Generally, when we are designing these reactors, it is for ease that we assume that these are all under ideal conditions, but then practically it may move away from ideality. So, it is important to identify and characterize the non-ideality in large bioreactors. These are some of the textbooks for your reference which you can see on the slide. Some of them are readily available as e-copies and you can easily get them from libraries. So, welcome again, wish you all the best.